PWM board, which I made a few days ago. This is the board. It's wired up to the hot end of the, the oscillator volume controls. And it comes through this cable. I'm also taking the plus or minus 10 and ground from the uh, Model D. So we have a level shifter and buffer. It's a quad op amp TL074. Signals on these controls basically go from zero to a negative voltage, and by buffering level shifting them, they go mostly to between around zero. The quad comparator here takes the buffered output and compares it with the input voltages here. The outputs appear on these, this header here. The LFO output seems to be already centered on zero. I have a couple of pots here, because I don't have a front panel. The front panel is going to have quite a lot of controls on it. It's going to have to have a modulation depth, modulation offset, input to the modulation, the output from the PWM, and the buffered output. It also probably needs a simple mixer, because I'm using the taking the output here and feeding it through to the external input on the Model D. So the filter and VCA are still being used in this setup, are being controlled through a MIDI keyboard, low pass mode, with the filter cut off at the top end, so it shouldn't be affecting the sound. I don't need the... don't need those. switch over to the oscillator 2. So oscillator 2 normally sounds like this. It's set to triangular wave. So I switch, if I use the output from the PWM unit, so basically I'm using a constant knob here. mix in a bit of the LFO, the buffered LFO signal. So now the LFO's causing motion. PWM circuit. Um, I can listen to uh, oscillator one. Uh, if I can plug it here, it's PWM oscillator one instead. waveform. Not really much of a depth can mark. Um, waveform, different waveforms give, can give slightly different sounds on the PWM. Just one oscillator. And of course, you can go havoc with a square wave. And of course, you just say it's more of a switch.
end if you uh, try to PWM a square wave. Edges on the square wave are vertical. It doesn't matter where you slice them. Just how the PWM system works. Outside the range of the comparator, so I still get the effect. simple design for a PWM. 